So the, the new Optimus uh, 22 degree of freedom hand and forearm is now in production and it's learning to walk and catch balls. It's pretty cool. I mean, I mean look, that's where we came from, it's wild. So in a very short period of time, uh, Optimus has gone from being uh, an idea to the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. There's nothing, there's nothing even close to the level of sophistication of, of Optimus. And Tesla has some, some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz, Tin Man. But it's not a harder brain, one of the two. It, it's, got a, it's, got the, it's got the real world AI. So Tesla's the, the leader in real world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. And we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. Another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. So in order for robots to be useful, that you have to, they have to be, they have to be intelligent. They have to be able to do useful things just by asking, and you have to be able to make a large number of them um, at an affordable price. This is what we can do. We have the, the only company with all the ingredients for making intelligent humanoid robots at scale is Tesla. This is a super big deal. Like my, my prediction is that on this front is that Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. Like that level. Anybody have any questions? We do want to make, we want to scale up production uh, to new heights. Um, obviously with the, with the Cyber Cab, you know, we're, we're going to be, Cyber Cab is, is not just revolutionary car design, it's also a revolutionary manufacturing process. So I guess we probably don't talk about that enough, but if you've seen um, the design of the Cyber Cab line, it doesn't look like a normal car manufacturing line. Um, like a really high-speed consumer electronics line. In fact, the line will move so fast that you, that actually people can't even get close to it. Like that's, you know, I, I think it's it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's that's like whoa. Which which means casting has got to happen fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, we, we got we got to jam the, the liquid metal in, cool it down real fast, like real fast. <laughs> And then, um, I guess maybe we need to like, just get even bigger casting machines? Sure, why not? 50,000 tons. <laughs> Cause like then we can make, with a single casting machine, we could do like five at a time or something. I'm trying to think like, how do you scale castings? Cause, cause the, you got liquid metal, metal's got to cool, and then you've got to automate, you know, getting all the bits and pieces off the casting so that it's usable. And that's actually kind of how they do it in like small volume castings. They'll like do have a casting block that'll make like, you know, a hundred matchbox cars at a time. I mean, we just make that real big. I mean, we have the cathedral of casting back there. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, like, let's, let's see. What is the limit of physics of how big can a casting machine be? Hi, Elon. I've been with Tesla for the last eight years. It has been the most exhilarating eight years of my career. I, I also have two little girls who spend their weekends cruising around in their very awesome Cybertruck. Cool. I'd love to know when we can add Optimus to the family. Oh yeah, it's a good question. So, so this year we, we hopefully will be able to make about 5,000 Optimus robots. We're aiming for enough parts to make 10,000, maybe 12,000. Um, but since it's a totally new product with totally new you know, like everything is totally new. I'll, I'll say like we're succeeding if we get to half of the 10, you know, half of the 10,000 now, but, but even 5,000 robots, that, that's, the, that's the size of a Roman legion, FYI. Which is like a little scary thought, like a whole legion of robots, I'd be like, whoa. But I think we'll, I think we'll literally build a legion, or at least one legion of robots uh, this year. And then probably 10 legions next year. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool unit, you know, um, units of legion. So probably 50,000-ish next year. Um, and then it's probably ready for, to, I'm hopefully ready for Optimus to be used outside of Tesla controlled environment, or maybe around the middle of next year, second half of next year sometime. So that's, I think that yeah, sounds about right. Probably second half of next year is, is, is when they'll be available. And then we'll, we, we will um, offer Optimus robots uh, first to uh, Tesla employees. Uh, so you guys get you know, the priority. Uh, there are some pluses and minuses to that, you know, because it's uh, probably have a few bugs, but uh, um, you definitely you'll want to invite your friends over and say, check this out. 
what advice would you give a young person like um, getting into the stock market? Like, oh, ha, stock advice. Wow, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> as as I, as I as I I think people can can perhaps tell um, who are watching this. These 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 questions are not prepared in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's going to sound very, very straightforward, but you want to really buy stock in companies where you think the, the product that that company makes will be better in the future. Like, like are they, is that company going to make more and better products? Do you love the products that that company makes and are they going to keep doing that? I think Tesla, as I've just gone through, Tesla is going to, is, has made, has a track record of having made many great products and we're going to make many more future great products and um, we're going to scale up production and I think we've demonstrated a level of innovation that is extremely rare. I mean certainly by far the most innovative company in the car industry like not even close type of thing. Like I do think Tesla stock actually long t I think long term with Optimus and self-driving uh, Tesla will probably be the most valuable company in the world. But there are also other companies out there that make great products and services. So I think that's the way you want to look at it. Say like, is, do, you, do you think this product, because that's the reason why my companies exist, is to make great products and services. If you think that the company is going to improve over time, then buy the stock, and if you don't, then don't. The stock market is, is it's a very strange thing. It's kind of like, um, you know, I think it's Warren Buffett's sort of uh, metaphor or analogy is, you know, the stock market's like having someone stand at the edge of your property or your house and, and yell prices about to, to buy, buy or sell your house every day. And like sometimes they take their meds and sometimes they don't. So sometimes the person yelling, that the price of your house is uh, having a good day, or and sometimes they're having a bad day. Um, but it's still the same house. You're like, I'm like, it's literally still the same house. Like, you know, so Tesla stock goes up and it goes down, but it, actually it's still the same company. Um, it's just people's perception of the future. I don't know. I guess it's just very emotional, you know. But for me, I, I, like, while it's difficult to predict how things will be from, you know, in the next say six to twelve months, if you say like, where will things be in three years or five years? The future of Tesla is incredibly bright. <laughs> you say, will the robot take your job or what? <laughs> That's a fair question. I think what, what, what we'll find with the robots is that the, there'll, there'll be a ratio of people to robots. So you, you'll effectively end up having ma managing a group of robots. You know, you'll have like basically, I don't know, your flock or your little group of robots that you take care of and, and you tell them what to do. Um, you'll have a little pack of robots, basically. Yeah, you're promoted to manager. <laughs> One way to think of it. Um, I think the same thing will be true of cars. Like, so for the self-driving car, is, is that people that are, say, um, you know, Uber drivers today or, or something like that, or taxi drivers today, will end up managing a fleet of, of cars. And that'll be a much more effective use of their time. You know, just taking care of, like, 10, 20 cars or however many they can take care of.